lovely um, fire signs. Welcome to Joy Energy Tarot. I'm Jenny. This is your intuitive guided reading for the month of February and I hope you like it. Please push like and subscribe if it resonates with you so that we can get the message out to more people. Okay, I've done all the shuffling and asking beforehand so we don't have to put too much time onto the video. Um, we're using the lovely Kyle Gray Oracle Angel messages for guiding messages and um, the Magic of Nature Spirit cards too from Belinda Patton here in New Zealand to give you guided messages for Sagittarius, Aries and Leo. So let's get on with it and happy birthday to any of you that have got Aquarius in your chart. We start off the month of February with the Empress. So you guys are attracting abundance into your life. People see you as loving, caring, motherly. You're either looking after people or you're creating a, a, something new. You're helping people with whatever it is that you're doing. And this is, can be where you're self-employed doing that too. Or you might be wanting to start off doing something where you work for yourself. And it's going to attract abundance. Then this leads on to, yes, news coming in, um, information coming in that's coming in really quickly and you're really excited about it. It's something that you've been waiting to hear about and that's going to help you want to get off on a new adventure. It's a really good fire sign card. That information though when it comes in for some of you, you're feeling a little bit sad though. You're feeling a bit um, on an island, um, stuck. Uh, you could be living in the past, you could be holding sadness in your heart. Uh, this is a card of a five. Fives are all about change, freedom, choice. You can choose to take one step forward and you've got all these cups and joys of happiness. So I feel that some of you might be holding yourself back because you've had to go through all sorts of challenges. This is a card too of looking at the glass half empty. So maybe this news that comes in for some of you, you're not that happy about it. Um, but change the way you look at things. Be grateful for the little things in your life. This is a reminder to be grateful every day for the things that you have in your life. Because by the end of that first week, there you are, King of Wands, good old fire signs, in charge, um, charging forward, feeling brave, feeling courageous. So if this isn't you, this is the boss card, the person who takes the lead. lead. They've got heaps of energy and they're quite passionate about everything they're doing. So you guys, if you're really good at what you're doing, this is you. And if it's not you, you could be dealing with somebody like that. Or some of you may be even feeling a bit sad about this particular person. Then we go on into the second week. And you're looking back and reminiscing. So some of you, there may be some sadish um, information about somebody which makes you look back and reminisce. But this is a card too, of just looking back, maybe for when you felt happier, um, maybe you felt stronger, more secure, just reminiscing in about the second week of um, uh, February. And for some of you too, I, uh, this can be relating to happier times when something happened back in February that made you feel happy. Then you move on to weighing up your options. You're, you're living in a bit of a balancing act here. You're juggling things. You're trying to work out what do I want to do? What do I want to spend my money on? So spend it on something that makes you feel happy. This can be to do with your safety and security. You might be trying to juggle where do you want to live as well. Then you've got information coming in. So there's some sort of, um, you've got the chance like studying or something new coming in that's going to help you with your life and make you feel a lot better. It's some sort of knowledge. You could be studying a course or trying something new, but it's about learning that's going to help you. And it's going to help you um, overcome um, any sort of money issues you've had. This is the Seven of Pentacles where you've been working hard and now you're, you're digging for that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and you're actually wanting to save up. This is a card of overcoming fears, false emotions appearing real. It's where you've been working hard and you're stopping, you're pausing and you're thinking, is this what I really want to do? Is this going to make me happy? So only you will know that. I actually see it, I know in some of the other packs of cards it's like not as positive. I see this one in this pack as, yep, keep working, you're nearly there, don't give up. And then you go into the third week and you've got um, needing a rest or a healing. So some of you might be working in the healing field and others of you might need a healing. So this is where it can be just simply lying down on your bed and asking for healing. It's more about getting your thoughts in order getting your thoughts back balanced and getting them 
you know, we might have been overthinking or overexcited about something and now it's like, get that, get the equilibrium back into your life. And then you've got the Queen of Pentacles. So this is where you're now starting to see the rewards for what you've been doing. You, um, the money's coming in, you're feeling a lot better about your money situation, you're feeling a lot more safe and secure. For some of you, 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 um, you could be working in the healing industry and now the money's coming in, okay? And for others of you, if you want to learn about money, there's somebody around you who can give you good advice. I feel that you've been working too hard or overworking and you are feeling quite exhausted. So this is a card where whatever dramas or anything you've been going through, the situation is coming to an end. For some of you where you have worked too much, you could end up with a sore back. So it's a warning card of don't become exhausted. And for, there's so many meanings for this. That So if it's been a shitty, dramatic situation, it's dead, done, dusted and over. For others of you, be careful. For the rest of you, you're now going to reap the rewards for the hard work you've done. The harvest is starting to come in and it's finished. And then by the end of that three weeks, uh, the third week, you've got the magician. So it's like people love what you're doing. You've got the ability to manifest your dreams. You've got the ability to make things happen. You're rounded, in touch with your intuition. You're in touch with your emotions and with in, um, your physical body, everything. So you have got the ability to manifest your dreams, you've got the ability to make things happen, you've got the ability to um, motivate other people, okay? And there'll be lots of communication coming in in that third week too, emails, phone calls, things like that. And then, <laughs> and there you are overthinking again. So this is where you can be excited, um, you could be um, overthinking everything about your plans, what you want to do, this is also coming to an end, but when you're like that, I can't stress it enough, write down the pros and cons of what you want and what you want to do, because honestly, it jumps out at you once it's on the paper, but um, for the rest of you, it's going to go round and round in your head till you work it out. Some of you are feeling trapped through your own thinking. This is where you're feeling tied down, trapped, you're quite happy to have your guard up, your little angel soul or angel guide or soul will pull you out of that when you're ready. But this is a card of stinking thinking. This is where you think things are going to happen like they did in the past. And you're blocking good things and holding yourself back. So those two, you're worrying about something and you're holding yourself back towards the end of February. Then you've got the three of wands. So this is where you don't have to do things alone. You've actually got the lovers card there too. This is where you've got a partnership. You can either be working in a business partnership with others and starting to waiting for the rewards to start coming in. The lovers card is about working with someone else to create something new. For some of you, you're waiting for the perfect time to do something. No such thing. So you don't have to do things alone. This is telling you work with others and you'll get the rewards. And this, the lovers card is lovely. It's where you are together. You're joining together with someone to create something new. So whether you want it to be a loving relationship or for others of you, um, a business. And for some of you, it's actually working on yourself so that you are just as in touch with um, your spiritual side as your physical side. I don't think it is quite that for most of you though. It's more to do with working with others to create a business or a, a, a job thing or a, um, counseling or creating something like that. Um, now covering the whole month. You guys are really good at what you do and people love what you do. You're getting recognition. For some of you, it can be recognition through certification and that sort of thing. But the rest of you, people admire what you do and they actually really look up to you. And then you've got the Prince of Swords. So this is where you guys are receiving psychic messages. So those are those random little thoughts that just pop into your head out of nowhere. They are your angels or your loved ones pushing you, telling you. So recognize those messages and follow them because you're going to be going in a new direction. This is awesome. This can be to do with work or where you're living or a course that you want to do, but you're going to be going, coming out of a darker period, going in a new direction and you're actually juggling things here. It's like you're being offered two jobs, two places to live, two courses to do, two of something and you've got to, you've got to work out what you want to do. But you need to overcome your fears because we've got the seven of swords there. So this is where in the past you may have been cheated 
on or lied to or led astray or you couldn't, couldn't do what you really wanted to do and you felt quite trapped. So sevens are about learning and about fear, overcoming that fear, false emotion appearing real. Because you have learnt your lessons now from those shitty things that have happened to you so that you can pack your bags and move forward in a new direction and feel a lot better about everything. So this can represent a new job, a new home or a new cause, but it also represents for all of you, change the way you look at things. Don't have this um, stinking thinking here holding you back, okay? Look at things differently from a different perspective. See another person's point of view. But look forward clearly that an aim to what you want to have. Set your goals and stay focused. I think it's all about being focused. Okay? Be true to yourself. Follow your intuition. And have a wonderful, wonderful February too, of course. Okay, let's see. What do our lovely angel messages and guides want you guys to know? So, Sagittarius... Um, Sagittarius, okay, what, what do you need to know? So we're using the lovely Kyle Gray's Oracle Cards, and you guys need to know spiritual growth, Sagittarius. Spiritual growth, oh, beautiful, beautiful artwork. It's every experience is a learning experience. You are a student of life and spirit, and what has happened in your life hasn't happened to you. It's happened for you. You have incredible resilience and the capacity to overcome whatever darkness or unknown force that you face. No matter what has been served up to you, you've done everything within your might and power to face it and find a way forward. Angels are acknowledging your determination and the positive, kind-hearted and upbeat energy that has allowed you to become the wonderful person you are today, Sagittarius. You may feel that your spiritual gifts are opening much more at this time. Be aware any visions, psychic insights or connections you develop as they will be pivotal to your growth. Woohoo! And from the uh, spirit, uh, spirit cards, new direction. You are looking in the wrong direction. Turn around and explore other options, areas and pathways. There's something there that will make your heart sing. Yes, so you think you've got a few cards in the reading about looking back or blocking things because you think things are going to be like they were. Look in a new direction. That's what the Seven of Swords is about too. Um, as much as it's nice to reminisce, don't think how things might have gone wrong in the past is going to affect you now. No, you've got new um, directions, new opportunities, so go for it. And your angel message is don't be afraid to ask for help from your guides. Your guides love to help you. So they're around you and you are receiving those psychic messages. So talk to your angels, talk to your ancestors so they can guide you because they are there to help you and they want you to ask for help. Okay, Sagittarius, have a lovely, lovely February. Okay, Aries, what do you need to know? Um, sorry, just doing the timestamp. Okay, Aries, what do you need to know? Our lovely Aries. Oh, you've got holy love. Oh, somebody else had that. Might have been Gemini. Um, holy love. Okay, Aries. Look at that. Beautiful. Angels of love are gathering around you in awe and celebration. For you are finally willing to remember how loving and lovable you are. And heaven is guiding you to see that you deserve loving relationships, loving experiences, and loving acceptance from the world around you. This card marks a milestone in your own self-awareness. It acknowledges the steps that you've taken to claim your worth and to recognize that you deserve to be loved and respected and to feel good. It also acknowledges a new level of spiritual openness, which draws even more divine love from your angels and the Creator. You are loved beyond your wildest dreams by the power and the presence that created you. And through receiving and acknowledging that love, you will create even more loving experiences in your life. Oh, isn't that beautiful, Aries? And then your other message, occupation. Your work life is about to take a huge leap forward. New offers and opportunities are on the table. 
Steady growth, new choices, or a new career. Woohoo! And it looks like it'll be something that you absolutely love. And love attracts what you really want, too. And your angel message, life never ends, spirit endures all. So don't forget that your angels and your loved ones and your guides, I mean your, your loved ones that have passed on, your ancestors, are there guiding you. So don't forget to talk to them and, and um, ask them for help when you need it. And you are receiving messages, so just remember that. They're trying to tell you things that you need to know. Okay, lovelies, have the most amazing February. Okay, Leo, what do you need to know? Um, oops, I can hardly read it. Right. Lovely Leo, what do you guys need to know? You have got strength and guidance. Strength and guidance. Wow, look at that. You are strong. Angels are encouraging you to dig deep and hold your station, Leo. If you're wondering what the next step is, know that it will be revealed in due course. Don't change your plans or your vision or your goals for anyone. This is not a time to take drastic action, but to remain committed and strong. Keep up the good work, Leo. Angels are encouraging you to recognise the power of your prayers and intentions at this time. Recognise too that the angels are with you and willing to guide you on your journey, Leo. The universe itself is with you. If you trust in it, you will draw down the power of the cosmos. And the right steps will be revealed in such a way that it will be effortless for you to take them. Know that it's not your job or duty to know everything that's unfolding. Just to take one step at a time until the solution and outcomes are revealed. Have faith. Positive things are happening. Great. That's great for you, Leo. And you've got prosperity. Your life is about to take off in a huge way. So brace yourself and get ready. Success is yours and everything you've ever dreamed of will manifest. How fabulous, Leo. And your angel message is, positive changes are on the way. They're taking place, but just be patient. Okay, Leo? I hope you have the most amazing February, Leo. So thank you, everyone, and blessings to you all. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you have the most amazing February. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.